Hey, how's it going? Uh, what do you got there? Hey, oh, this is my uh, Kenwood D72A full featured handy talkie radio. Yeah, it's a 2 meter 70 centimeter radio. Uh, it does APRS, which is a positioning system. It's got an onboard TNC and a GPS transmitter. It costs about $500 when I bought it. It's come down in price. They have a new model out, but pretty much does everything you'd ever want to do with a handy top. Wow, $500 is a lot of money to be spending on radios. I bought all these, these Baofeng 3Rs and the BFF8 8 watt radio for less than $130. Yes, your, your, your cheap Chinese radios are, are very cute. This is a high quality Japanese handy talkie. Uh, I get all five watts and the additional capability of doing packet radio, TNCT work, and GPS. You have nothing like that in your, in your bow fangs. Whoa, 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 hey, don't get me wrong. Uh, we're two sides of the same personality here. All I'm saying is that it's a highly good value to get an eight watt radio for like $65, and that's not including the UV5R, which we already know is a good deal, and the UV3R. There's nothing like the functionality of just having a radio on your person at any time. But again, ham radio is about the fun and the hobby. Don't take any offense. Now you listen here, you little upstart. Japanese radios are the pinnacle of all radios. It's what everybody uses. These Chinese radios, we've already talked about it in your last video. Nobody understood what you're talking about. You couldn't make one argument, but everybody agrees these Chinese radios are cheap and the quality is lacking. You've got an 8 watt, a 5 watt, and a 3 watt radio over there. I bet you it doesn't output nearly anything close to that. Yes, I know the last video was kind of ambiguous with the Baofeng, the Chinese thing, but really, they're really good radios and the quality is amazing. In fact, I'm gonna prove it. The power rating on these radios is exactly what it says on paper, equal to, and in the case of the 8 watt, greater than your $500 radio. And you know what I did with the rest of the money? I bought like 25 cases of craft beer, which I have been loving, saving that $500 to put into beer. Hey guys, so this is the newest radio in my stable of radios, the Baofeng BF F8HP. It's an 8 watt radio. It's just like the UV5R. I think this is a little bit more robust. It comes with a bigger battery. Um, it obviously does 8 watts. But the biggest thing I've ever heard about this radio is there's no way it puts out 8 watts. Everybody is just super dubious about all the power claims on the Baofeng. There are some people who have actual uh, evidence that some of the radios actually don't hit their power rating and and while I can't comment on everybody else's radios and this is a highly anecdotal experiment I rigged my little uh, SWR power meter to a dummy load and I ran a quick little sample of all my radios my Baofeng radios my FT60 by Yesu and my Kenwood D72A and I did a quick little power reading I wanted to see uh, on fully charged batteries how much power these guys were putting out and were they comparable to their Japanese counterparts so just to give you an idea what we're talking about here there's the radio here's my SWR power meter and then here's a 35 watt dummy load way more than the 8 watts that this thing puts out so, so more than capable and just a quick uh, mention for those of you that haven't taken your technician class test or anything um, have discussed good hardware practices with radios. Dummy loads basically take the power output and they sink it somewhere that's not gonna hurt you, uh, create RF burns, or possibly uh, short or damage the radio. Most handy talkies have circuitry built in that you can take the antenna off and then key it up and it's not gonna internally short the radio. However, uh, mobile radios, base station radios, they assume you know better than that, so you can actually like really damage your radio without being hooked up to an antenna, a load, or um, an RF, uh, choke or dummy load in this case. So just a bit of uh, advice, always have a dummy load or an antenna on before you do any experimentation like this. So what I did on each frequency, uh, each frequency band, 70 centimeters and two meters, I created three memory channels for each. One on the leftmost side of the frequency band, the middle and the rightmost side. So a bit of uh, checking out the entire band, if you will, of output, because if you know anything about antennas, you'll know that antennas can be tuned for exactly one frequency and then they kind of start dying off as far as your SWR is as you get further away from the length of the antenna that you've tuned. Power can be a similar thing. So anyway, all I do is I, I key up my two meter uh, frequency or memory channel and I just do a, a check. And guess what? This is right smack dab in the middle of eight watts. That tells you a lot. I went through, I did this multiple times. I did it through all the channels, the two meter and the 70 centimeter. This is eight watts 
with a bullet. Standard, straight up, strong. And I did that with my UV, uh, my BFF8 HP, 8 watts. I did it with my UV 5R and my UV 3R. And every time, each one of those radios hit its power output exactly. Now, don't get me wrong, my, my uh, Kenwood D72A and my Yaesu FT60R, they also hit their power exactly as uh, manufacturer, advertised, etc. And I'm not making this video to be like, hey Baofeng, super kudos for doing exactly what I paid for. No, I'm just making this video to hopefully to dispel some of the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt of people making claims that really aren't backed up by anything in reality. Don't give Baofeng extra credit for doing exactly what you paid for. You paid for a 5 watt radio, an 8 watt radio, whatever. Kenwood, all of them, they don't get extra points for, for producing what they said they do. I just want to make sure that we're all playing with a full deck here. We all know that actually, yes, the power output is is right and accurate, etc. And And actually the biggest thing, and, and I think this is uh, something that everybody should do, is you should probably get an SWR power meter and power meter for whatever radios you have. Uh, that way you know exactly what you're outputting as far as through your antenna, how much power is coming through it, all that good stuff. I'll post the link in my Amazon A store for both of these things, so then you can add it to your test equipment that you use for something even as simple as a handy talkie. Yes, I know, you can just buy these and you can just plug them in and, and it should just work right out of the box. Why don't you just work right out of the box? But sometimes you gotta get programming cables and power meters and all that stuff. And it's good if you actually try it out and use it because then you're gonna be a little bit sharper upstairs in your mental tool department. So anyway, that's it. Very simple video. This works, all my other radios work, um, and I have very, the Baofeng UV5R was one of the first ones I ever purchased. Baofeng, and that's like over five years ago. Um, I've had multiple Baofengs that I've programmed and given away, or, or radios that I've programmed for friends, and they bought them and I sold them off to them, or whatever, given them away. And, and the Baofengs just generally are okay. I've, I've covered all my gripes on the radio. I think they still stand completely. Um, I think if I was gonna pick a radio to recommend anyone to get, if they're interested in getting into radio, it's gonna be the BFF8 HP. It just looks nicer. The fit and finish is a bit better. I really like the screen. It's way better than a standard UV5R screen. And you get eight watts. I know that um, in comparison, eight watts to five watts, when you're actually talking about RF, it's actually not that big of a step up. So not a huge deal, but among other things, um, this radio is actually easier to program. I already mentioned it has a bigger battery very important, but the easier to program, the ease of program, this will work on those counterfeit cables. Now again, don't buy the counterfeit cables, go use my link to the Amazon. Again, I'm not selling the cable, but I know the exact cable, I've already picked it out, you just have to go buy it. It works with all the radios. With that said, if you already have the counterfeit cable, this radio generally works with it, but I don't guarantee that, so don't, don't hit me up with messages if you bought the counterfeit cable and this doesn't work with it, so. So something else I did, which I'm gonna save for another video, is uh, the SWR, the efficiency of the antenna. Uh, I took off the dummy load and connected my antennas for each of my radios, all my uh, rubber ducky antennas, my Nagoyas, my uh, arrows, my comets, all my antennas that I have for two meter, 70 centimeter HTs, and I tested them. And I was pretty surprised in the results, actually. Some of the name brand antennas had a pretty high SWR, even in comparison to rubber duckies. Hmm, what does that tell you? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. This is the first time I've ever done a side by side Claude video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, kind of. It's, it's not actually the, uh, the, the what you're talking about that's the problem. It's the standing there stupidly looking at an empty room where you think your head's gonna be. That's the hardest part of making videos like these. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not sponsored with Modern Times, but we, we do really love uh, the microbrew or the craft beer that is micro time. So cheers to them and cheers to Ham Radio, cheers to Baofeng, cheers to all the radio companies. Get out there, find what you like, enjoy yourself, get more active. Go check out my store, my A store. Uh, it's down in the link below. I'd love it if you're gonna buy a Baofeng, or you're even gonna buy the Kenwood. I uh, use my link, I get a bit of the action. You don't pay anymore, but it kind of helps the channel go. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share this with your Ham Radio buddies. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. See ya, allies. <laughs>